Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live. With, uh, we back. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, it is. It is. It's your girl, Be Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon. BKA, the people's champ. All right, man. So we back. Bullets and blues. If this is your first, uh, if you want to see the whole thing from the beginning, you get a chance to win the game. Go back, watch video number one. Give it a like, and uh, you know, add, you know, put what we ask you to put in the in the uh, in the comments in the comments, man. Mm -hmm. And you get a chance to win. But I mean, it's a it's a fantastic game so far. So hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But uh, Bridget is gonna continue on and go see this guy that we're supposed to be going to see. Yeah. All right. Get going with the slow walk. Like, literally, I could just keep holding down this thumbstick, look this somewhere, and do something, and he's still walking. Well, not even the rats are safe. Those who swore to protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have well, left. Walk toward the moon, though. And those who should judge them prefer to squabble over their prey. That was a cool effect. But it wasn't always like this. The Santa Esperanza I was born in was a clean town. I guess. A place where it meant something to be a cop. You ain't gonna shoot, man. Oh. Damn! Okay, Bridget. Uh! Okay, Bridget! Until he arrived. See, like, you, you see what I'm saying? You don't really have to do anything. You just gotta try not to die. Well, if you put it on his head, you get a headshot. I want to shoot at the right person too. It's two of them, Jay. Yeah. Damn, that was a headshot. Headshot, get it, get it. Why did you come back? Hit X to reload. He must got a Look, speed. Chris, I'm, I'm reloading <laughs> my gun. Okay. <laughs> Man, I know I hit his head. <laughs> I know you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh Come on. my god. Come on. Come out, guy. <laughs> this is so bad. This is horrible. Ah, oh, man. It took go. long enough. <laughs> oh my god. My aim has never been on point. We know this. Oh. Damn. Two piece? Eh? He took everything I had. <laughs> that was hard. And I sent him to hell. Chris Knight said my reload was dumb fast. <laughs> Rip. Not to hell. I don't want to go to hell. I... We built my life. I cannot go no fast. This is how slow ground. this dude is really falling. Wow. That's the only thing I don't like. But that now he's back. Snails. And he's dragged me in. I know, right? I don't know if they're trying to make his walk look cool or what. I don't know what they're trying to do, man. Every time I get out, they drag me back in. I'm gonna need help. I'm calling my friend. Whiskey and juice. Huh? Do I drink or do I don't drink? I get by with a little help. Since juice is in the chat, friends. we'll say we'll go with juice. Juice! That was a good one. Deep blue sea. They ate me. You got juice? Yeah. Okay. You're sitting back chilling on these motherfuckers. You gonna answer it or you gonna drink? I'm thirsty. Wow. <laughs> you know he's gonna get it eventually, so. <laughs> Billy, I'm thirsty. Yes. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. 31 Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Secrets a lie. Um. I don't think we want to involve her in this, right? Yeah, that's this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some mail turned up for him at the diner with a wrong address. Elliot? Don't lie to me. I'm a cop. If you go outside the law, I can't protect you. Alice, I don't have much time. 
I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. That was the best lie you can think of. Tomorrow's going to be a long, long day. Some mail turned up for him at the diner. I mean, he has a diner. I mean, what else would he would need for him? So she was going. To, that was probably going to be her response, regardless. You're right. Thirty-one Wicker Avenue. This is it. You sure? I'm 31 sure. Thirty-one Wicker Avenue. Did they make him the Wicker Man? At last. That stench of stale grease about you reminds me too much of my old job. Job? You worked as a waiter? I was a chef. Uh -huh. And not in any old kitchen. At the maximum security penitentiary on Gore Island. Uh -huh. Can't think of a better way to do time. And how do you think I met Alphonse? Playing golf? <laughs> Alphonse. Alphonse? On the Alphonse. subject of cooking. I know your blueberry pie had an extra something. I still don't know what. Alphonse. So what now? You got a plan? Take a look around in case there's a rear exit. I'll take the main door. My pleasure. My name. My name. Hopefully my dog don't get shot, man. I don't want the black dude to get shot. But black dude always, always die. Exactly, man. I'm tired of that shit. Right, look at some clues. The fact that a criminal like him can hang up his shingle in broad daylight says a lot about Santa Esperanza. I know. What's it over there? Someone took out sections of the fence. Odd. Very odd. Gotta talk to the Interesting taste. Been centuries since a gardener Nomeo? visited this house. Maybe Baccarini's business isn't going too well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everything dry up, baby. You ain't gonna ring that doorbell, though. I will ring the doorbell. You're not gonna ring as that soon doorbell. As soon as I get to it. As <laughs> soon as that, I get to it. How long is that gonna be? Forever. Hold on a second real quick. This thing is a little too dark, don't you think? Well, I thought it was part of the game. I'm trying to see how bright we should make it. How bright you think we should make it? Let me go down. That's, um, no, that's too dark. Okay. We'll go about right here. Okay. But I wanted to, uh, well, yeah. Put over two more, Jay. Yeah, that's good. I'm trying to check it out on the stream, what they seen. Yeah, I think this will be good. All right, okay. resume. I got a pretty, I got a hell of a resume too, you know. Oh, yeah. And then hit resume. Negro. <laughs> oh, there you go. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen, on YouTube. Door or bell? The bell doesn't work. I guess Baccarini doesn't get many visitors. General Lahore. Baccarini? Carlo Baccarini? Nothing of interest out back. Sorry. You better come see this, Mr. Ness. What is it? I don't know how to describe it. Oh, man. dead as fuck. Oh, man. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna kick that door in. Everything else is so fast about him but his wall. Right. Is that our man? Baccarini. My Woo! God. We have to find out who did this and why. Let's go. You're the Damn. detective, Mr. Ness. Besides, Alphonse will want to see this. I'll be right back. All right. I have to establish how Baccarini died. Maybe the body parts could shed some light on the motive. Did they? Solve the murder's investigation board. Okay, let's go to the board. All right, so what are we doing? Okay, let's let. So how y'all think he died? Mutilation? 
But now we know he then you know it was mutilation, right? I mean, yeah. Clues. Let's look at clues. Yeah. Info, hit X. I have to establish how Baccarini died. That's all we got. It's just okay, so Maybe we gotta look around the house? Yeah, let's see. Let's go look around the house. Back. Look at him. Holy Christ, what the hell are we up against? Damn, they fucked this entire world up. Huh. Yes, you just gotta look at those things. Pity he won't last till Christmas, because he'd almost pass for a tree. There's no doubt the murderer took his time. I know. I should go. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, just look at all the spots on him. Babe, like like everything. Babe. Yeah, I, could, yeah. I you won't I need to move it, Jay. It's, yeah, you gotta, it's, use, it you gotta use the other, oh. the other stick. This isn't a cut. It's a tear. His hands were ripped off. Oh my Damn. god. Damn that kind of strength. Alright, so we need got a new clue. We'll look at his mouth. His teeth were all pulled out before he was killed. The buildup of blood inside his mouth speaks for itself. It was on his forehead. Right there. His eyes were pulled clean out of their sockets. Shit, Whoever did this, this like it wasn't their first time. And if they committed any other murders like this, it's likely that the police found some of the bodies. I must remember to ask Alice. This game is immersive, so when you start watching it, it's just like, you can't stop. Yo, they put a bottle in his kidney? Once he got stuck in there, looks like the bottom of a glass. It's Baccarini, no yeah. doubt about that. Although the one I remember was more together. Yo! This motherfucker pulled his arms off, his eyes out, and some more shit. Okay, so. Guess you got to choose your clue. The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. So, yeah, you used the clue. Now we'll go with uh, the second one. The black? First, first one. First one. Baccarini's teeth were all pulled out. Right. It, it might give us something else. Hands ripped off, teeth torn out. I guess I'll have to rule out criminal intent or a personal angle. Right. Baccarini's eyes still haven't shown up. What if I look for whatever was used to remove them? That glass. What well, looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back. Yep. Okay, so then that means we gotta, uh... So Get gotta aboard look. again? Yeah, we gotta look and see what, uh, what they used to pull his eyes out. Okay. So you, we probably can look around. I mean, it's like blood right everywhere. The blood comes from the other side of the corridor and ends next to the body. He was attacked in the other room and dragged to the hall. All right, check your board. Can we use any of them clues? Yeah, hit that. The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. Can't use that, so we gotta use. So we're still on the eye. What well, right looks now. like the yeah. bottom of a broken glass uh, buried in Baccarini's. Right, cool. So, no, go on there, go on there. Damn! Hmm. Let me use a piece of glass. The evidence suggests that the events began in the lounge. How did Baccarini encounter his murderer? You just gotta look around the lounge. You just look at the little board. No, we haven't. There you go on the floor. Broken table. Right here. Whatever crushed the table must have been really heavy. Or maybe it was thrown extremely hard. 
too. Mm -hmm. A perfectly circular dent, as if someone had tried to hammer in a gigantic bolt, around four inches in diameter. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah. Fingernails scratched the wood. Damn. There you go, blood. On the floor. Blood ran like water. Damn. Maybe they had him nailed to the board. I don't know. We got or had like part of his hand. Or maybe he threw him into it and then he scratched it or something. I don't know. What, what you guys think what happened? So we know you gotta that. use whatever clue. Yes, or your salt. So we know you're happening in the room. The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. So he beat his ass in the, in that room, and then he pulled him into the other one. You gotta use the last two clues. A broken table, scratched and covered in blood. Okay. okay. And then got two pools of blood, yeah. one on either side of the dining room table. Okay. Try that first one. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back. Yeah. So we can't even use that. So now we gotta back up and then we gotta hit back. Back again. And then just keep looking around, keep looking around. Oh, there you something. go. Watch. So watch. No, so you gotta inspect that watch. There you go. On the back. There what kind of person takes off a wristwatch without unfastening it? I know, right? Or fastens the strap again after taking it off? No, no, no. He pulled his arm off with the watch on. Oh. Yeah. So that's, oh, it's three clues on here. Yeah, go up. Yeah, go up. Yeah, the face. Oh. Did it break during the struggle, or was it already broken? And then some on the inside. There you go, right there. You see it, right? Yeah, there I'm not there. I can't. There you go. Boom. Blood. Blood everywhere. Yeah. So you want to go back to the board? Yeah, let's check out the board. Um. Do the assault, do that part, do the watch. The blood stained wristwatch with the glass broken and the strap fastened. Yeah, that, we can't use that. Do you think we have to go back and undo what we did on some of the boards? No. So I don't did. think so. I mean, assault. So we got facts, assault. Because what does this do? And then when you hit back, you just back up. Okay, so let's go right here. Okay. Eyes. Um, a blood-stained wristwatch with a glass. Did find something before on the floor? A broken table. Two like pools of blood. The trail of blood. What looks like the bottom. So you can't use any of those. Okay, so we, still got so we just gotta find there. more clues. Okay. So just keep on looking. Or, or something else. Bottle. This was opened recently. So let's just go through and find all the clues. Yeah. And then find every clue we can. Just keep on going, keep on going, see how you see. Boom. Smells of whiskey. Yeah, we're gonna roll. Glass on the floor indicates the window was broken from outside. Alright. Okay, that's good. Pistol! There's something under there. Mm-hmm. How did it wind up under there? Still loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All six Not one still round there. fired. Mm -hmm. It must have happened fast. And then just keep on looking, keep on looking. Hmm. What are the it looks like. Yeah. Look at everything on the table. What is it with Italians and olives? Oh. They lap those things up like caviar. Mm. 
Like a true bachelor, he should have put these into soak. Hours of scraping to get them clean. Although at this stage, I don't think Baccarini's too worried about that. Hmm. It's kind of fucked up. You gotta use the right thumbsticks, man. Four hey. glasses. Two of water, two of wine. So he had dinner with somebody then. Mm -hmm. I've always been a whiskey man, but I know a good a wine, wine when I see one. Red Pino Rio. Probably gonna have like lipstick on one of the glasses or something, you think? Probably. Leftover lasagna. So and it looks Lou good. Like Why is it that two out of three Italian gangsters are great cooks? I'll never understand what the deal is with them and cooking. The plates and the glasses leave no room for doubt. Baccarini had company for dinner. Yep. Alright, so, uh, let's see if you can go down. It's a knife over here. One knife's missing. Yep, that's it. It's, just only, it's only one clue. But one knife's missing. The biggest one. Shut from the inside. Okay, do you want to go back to the board to try to put some stuff together? Uh, I think that's it. So now let's take a look. So now we're going to take a look at the big board, man. Mel's big board. So we can go back and look. And they immediately have used the knife to cut out his eyes. Maybe? No, I don't think so. No. Say it back. Oh, let me see something real quick. So we hit this. Okay, so right bumper doesn't do anything there. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Okay, the assault. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. What about the a pistol, fully loaded. Right. That's definitely Pieces it. of glass from the window in the hall found inside the house. Okay. And then. A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. An open bottle of whiskey. There we I'd go. say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Right. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Where did the torture begin? Torture. Um, okay, so so where did the torture begin? We know it's the wristwatch with the glass broken and the strap fastened. Right. And then a broken yeah. table, scratched and covered in blood. We know he launched his ass into that. Two and pools of blood. Right one on either side of the dining room table. Right. Boom. The blood stains show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. That was where his hands were torn off. As a right. result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. Boom. How did the body reach its current position? Alright, so now we know that... The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. Right. And... What's that on the other side? Keep going. Oh. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried. Uh, you would think they maybe if there was dragon dirty plates, the glasses, and silverware from it. Um, a broken whiskey glass found in the bank. A door in the kitchen locked from the inside. Dirty no plates, like glasses, right. and silver. Yeah. Um. So we're missing two clues. Yeah, we're missing let's a couple back. clues. All right, so let's see what we got. He's up a pimping boy. Thought it was something over here. Maybe it's like something, something in the living room that we're missing, Jay. It's got to be something in the living room that we're missing, right? Because we looked yeah, at everything. Yeah, I think else. you can go upstairs. Oh, I don't know. I don't think we can go upstairs. So now, because we already know what happened in here. So, it's got to be something that we missed. Oh, uh, see, we ain't even all the way back in here, though. Ah, here we go. Right oh, what's here. that? Rope or something like that on the ground? Oh, I'm trying oh, to see. Oh, the cable, but I guess you can't even really look at it. Nah, they're not going to let it. There's nothing else for us to right look at. Right here. It takes home. a strong man to tear that out. Or several. That's a whole other room, too. Yeah. Whenever we get to the end of this, we're going to end it. Jammed shut from the inside. Maybe between the two of us when Milton gets back. 
If I'm not mistaken, this door opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. I wonder if there's like something hiding in that door. Yeah, exactly. Am I close enough? There we go. Blood and some kind of sticky liquid. That's how his eyes got school. Oh, yeah. Alright, so let's go to the board. And but this game is called a teaspoon um, stained with blood and, and some it's kind of sticky liquid. This game the is mixture crazy, of sticky man. liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's eyes. The mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy or cultist fanaticism. Which is it? A broken whiskey glass. Dirty plates, a door in the kitchen, the lamp. No, we can't use What looks like the. The lamp. Torn off its brackets and blocking the stock. Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. Damn. Yo, he fucked this whole world up, dog. He did. Motive. Okay. Alright, so now let's keep on looking. Looks like they're not gonna let us go. Oh, we can't go into this room. Yo. I didn't realize this house was so big. You? Yo, but how did he tear his hands off? Oh, Yo, shit. what the I fuck? You guys see this? Diner. You can't zoom in and give them a bigger picture of that, Jay. Yeah, they doing it right now. Oh. What the hell? Shocky. Do that. Yeah, pull it apart. Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be like him doing it. Uh, that's that's the the body. Knife. Well, at least and I know why his done. teeth were pulled out, more Yo. or less. My goodness. Yo, this is sick. What is that? Looks like a ritual. What was Baccarini mixed up in? I don't know. I ain't trying to find out either. Uh, what's that bottle on the floor, Jay? You see one? Yeah. Okay, it is, it's not telling you to highlight over it. All right, let's take the board real quick for motive. All right. So, so where were we at over here? Motive. A sick altar of human flesh. Yeah. Some kind of symbol drawn in blood. Although I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth, I'd say the motive was some kind of occult religion. The big question is, who, who did, did it? And why? Alright, uh, we over here. So did we solve it? No, because I think we still got the, we have one missing, right? Go back to the board. No, nah, everything's there. Okay. Oh my god. Still fucked up, whatever happened though. Alright, let's check back here. See what's going on. This car looks too classy for a forger like Baccarini. Exactly. Are there sufficient reasons to believe that when the murderer attacked Baccarini, there was someone else in the house? The first possibility to be ruled out is that the car belonged to Baccarini. Alright, so let's see if this is Baccarini's car. Let's take a look in the glove compartment. You're damn right! Bingo. Mm-hmm. A man's cigarette case. OB, one of the Baccarini clan? Mm. Oh, yeah, because you know we're dealing with the mafia. Right. I thought with OB, thought it was Vermont like, plates. Oh Someone drove a long way. Let's 
see if we see anything else in here. I don't see nothing else in here. I don't see anything else in here, so we're going to... But as soon as we solve this murder, that'll be it for this. Okay. The initials OB on a cigarette case. A car with Vermont plates. Vermont? One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. You're damn right. Three, the initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. Correct. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. Damn the right. dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. At least one Was other Baccarini's person. guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? A door in the kitchen, blocked Maybe from the inside. Maybe it was the daughter. In a Maybe door in the corridor, jammed shut. Like it opened. Dinner with the daughter, Victoria. A broken whiskey glass, found in the dining room. Mm -hmm. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass, buried in Baccarini's bed. Seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. The real Damn. question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? I think it's still in the house, that's why the door A door, door in the kitchen, yes. locked from the inside. A door in right. the corridor, jammed shut. In a one locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors, which open onto the same room, can't be. Can't be. Either I'm completely <laughs> wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. Where's Milton? Now the doorbell works? I know, right? Mr. Ness, can you open the door uh, for me? He ain't putting no pistol on nobody, though. That ain't Chris Lightning. Chris Lightning would have just said, fire, fire, fire. Oh. It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. When I came in, I pressed the doorbell and it didn't work. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. Sound like us yesterday. I know, so, right? What can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Camera, I know. What year is Not a good be? start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right. Follow me. Follow me! Baccarini had company for dinner. This Someone not... from Vermont with the initials OB. Someone whose social status was a lot higher, but who was on the same side of the law. He served lasagna, and after clearing away the dishes, they opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, hey. or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. Damn! He span around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. How you with I have no you idea know. how he did it, but all exactly. the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor into the hall. Shit. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. He skewered him on the iron bars, possibly taken from the fence outside, and pulled iron out his what? teeth one by iron one. Fence. Remember, the fence was bent down. Finally, he bones. scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. Uh -oh. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Uh Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. You're telling me that someone did all this armed with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own some, just by looking? More or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Hail Mary! Run quick, see! 
What do we have here now? Do you want to ride or die? Ride or die? Ride or die? Boom. You can open that door by yourself? Nothing. Turns out Mr. Untouchable, Untouchable isn't infallible. But you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. Now you know you can't read and you black. Stop it. Huh? What? Stop it. <laughs> I know man killing himself. Alright, what we got? You're at a crime scene and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. <laughs> Damn right. J.L. Baccarini. Let's go back and look. All right. Leave him to his reading. I know, right? Anytime I see a black man educating himself, I'm all for it, dog. I can't, I can't hate on that. I don't know if he's that strong, Cervantes. Hmm. <laughs> Cervantes is stupid. He <laughs> said, that black guy is strong. Strong enough to rip somebody's hands off. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Cash money, though. Jesus. Cash There's at least money. a million dollars here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. Probably his guests. And I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. Right. None of his forgeries are worth that much. Damn! Did he just say he a bum-ass forger? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said you pretty trash, son. Hey, don't it look like we on we on like green screen like we on ESPN like a first no. take? No. Like look over there like it's like I'm on one Carlo, side and you on. I have the like goods for OB, oh but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? I have mm -hmm. to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. You just said Colombo. The driver's license of one John Martinson and mm. Osmond Burke. Osmond Burke. Burke. There you go. Mm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father who wound up disinheriting him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one. Oh, wow. Opened Fuck. the safe and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. All starting to add up, isn't it? Ah! Oh, shit! Damn it! Ow! Ow! Hit that, hit that, hit that! Hit why, hit why! Oh, shit! Damn, you lost! Shit! Your ass dropped, Bridget! Nigga, did, did you... Push on me and scared me, Jay, and I couldn't even up, see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this motherfucker, man. It's his life. It ain't. Hey, why? I got a B. If you match the wrong thing, you're gonna die. Okay, okay. Let me try it one more time. <laughs> he got dropped. All uh, starting to add up, isn't it? Yeah! Out of my way! Out! Out! Hit it one time. If you hit it, if you hit the wrong yeah. thing, you're gonna, you, you're gonna oh, yeah. up. Damn! Milton. Bitch, Milton. stop the shit out of that thing. You're doing fine Thanks. on your own, Mr. Ah. Ness. I believe in you. Oh. That's oh. fucked up. Oh, <laughs> <God. laughs> <laughs> 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 he keep in watching you. Come on! Get out! This fuck nigga yeah. here, dog. Yeah. <laughs> bitch! That's not what it like a bitch! That's not what it like a bitch! <laughs> what is it? I mean, how the hell a, 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 a <laughs> is attacking him? His face is completely covered. <laughs> he got the knife again, what the fuck? How you gonna let him get the knife again? And he can't even see, I mean, he's blind, he's fighting. <laughs> nah, he got his face bandaged up like he's gonna get it changed. Oh my god! Get out of my way, I said! He's coming back! Who's coming Ooh. back? Him! The monster! Oh the guy god. who killed Baccarini? 
Kyle's Hello. a monster! Oh, get your hands off me, Negro! Really? Negro? <laughs> Describe him for me. He fucked him in the throat. <laughs> It was a monster, <laughs> red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws. It was a monster, a monster. Should I hit him again? <laughs> yes. Yes. Coming on Negro. <laughs> Bitch. You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh my God. Good. Now this pay attention, great. Burke, because I have a question for you. I. Document, suitcase, no. I don't know which one you want. Uh, the money. We want to know about the money. All right, let's, let's, let's hear about it. Who is this money for? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. And I. Isabel. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes, no, uh, yeah, yeah, at the docks, uh, uh, birth 42, right, right next to where, um, where, where the uh, allig Alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meetup time? Uh, t tomorrow, tomorrow, at, uh, uh, tomorrow, 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 tomorrow noon, tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, laughing. it's going to be tonight. Uh, uh, oh don't get God. too comfortable. Oh we'll be God. there in no time. <laughs> Then um, the hospital, we down get, the hospital. We gotta get police. to the hospital, right? Uh, where we going? We gonna take it to the doctor? We gonna take it to the hospital? We gonna take it to the police? No, this is where we wanna go. Let's go to the hospital. All right. You need painkillers. Oh, I hate the fact that I'm taking an interest in your health, but it's the law. I'm afraid not, Mister Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. <laughs> Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. <laughs> Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter. You wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Damn, there's a lot of reasoning okay. going on. For a black man, too. <laughs> hey, that's what he said. Get your hands off me, Negro! <laughs> I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. Wow. Did he just... Yeah. Did he, he did. just? He did that. He did that shit. Like, nigga, I can still smell you. Yeah, I thought that oh, blood bath would cover up the smell of stale grease. I was wrong. Get your hands off me, Negro! <laughs> he said, look at that turtleneck. <laughs> 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 he said, that turtleneck and best collab. Elliot? Ah, <laughs> oh, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were <laughs> off, so I thought that. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I... I'm scared. Of what? What are you drinking? Juice! Juice? That was a good one! It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <laughs> you heard me. I breathe on I'm sorry. It it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? Lie. We gotta protect the women. Lie. Yeah, we gonna lie. Sometimes I go out into the countryside and shoot up bottles. If the cola company ever finds out, I... <laughs> You're such an <laughs> idiot. Seriously, you don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. He's back. Who? Him. I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. What the hell Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? In that right. case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his they striped pajamas and in four minutes guy. time he'll be know, snoring like... in his cell. You right, Sandra. Hey, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? Uh, <laughs> yeah, tell the people in the chat to pick. A, B, or C, uh, B, X, or A, folks. Superiority, old age, or jury. Who does he hate more than anybody? Damn kindergarten. 
<laughs> that was just kiss already, you two. <laughs> what does he hate more than anything? Put it in the chat. I'm going to say what we all hate. Old age. What do y'all think? No? I'm going to say He it. spent almost 20 years in jail. Yes, I'm Rampage. Man. You said, hey, that's if what we he went gets with. Out, at most, he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, <laughs> don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... Gosh. Knee. knee. She's going to touch his knee. No, you're touching her knee. Uh, please, no. But thanks. Okay. Kitchen. Kitchen, yeah, since he's in a diner. Right. My hand? I burnt it cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. Even that looks What's like going on, Elliot? I know, right? My it's nigga, closed. my nigga. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? I know. Sure, right? of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. That mother gonna walk up in there bebopping like he back on the um. block or something. Uh, Delphine. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. Damn. <laughs> no, and it's none of your business. <laughs> Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Wow. <laughs> hey, man, this is such a good episode. Seriously. Damn, you they ain't not... finished yet? No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, isn't a deal with marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Friendship or loyalty? What are the factors? Friendship. Friendship or loyalty? There's some people in the chat. People in the chat. What are the issues? Friendship or loyalty? He said that turtleneck and vest combo is cute. <laughs> he said, at least she ain't say Negro. I <laughs> wish she kicked him out. <laughs> oh, then she would have had to get slapped too. you damn right. That's right. But you got to realize what time we're dealing with, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Her favorite would be to just drop to zero. <laughs> Loyalty, loyalty or friendship? Yeah, they go with loyalty. Yeah. Dockers was my best friend. I couldn't do that to him. Not even now he's dead. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my I priorities. I'm no sorry. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> yeah. You screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? <laughs> I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Oh my god. Did you enjoy it? Do I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. you did duty. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. Everything's going to work out fine. Damn, where we gonna stop it? Shit! Yeah. Uh, I think this is where we gonna stop it at right here. Because somebody walked. I probably never said they turned the Nick and Fist combo. Why he naked? I didn't even see that. He was naked. Who that? Oh, he had to change those clothes into that rapist uh, costume. Yeah, here we go. Right here. Oh, dang. Dang, what's this? That's a long ass fly through. Mm -hmm. My nigga, my nigga. So, everything's gonna oh, work okay. out fine, huh? You sure it's here? Relax. It's just a little further. Just follow me. Follow me! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave it right here. Um, if, you, if you're on Twitch, we're going to keep on rolling. We're going to keep on doing it. But if you're watching it on YouTube, like I said, it's a good 
this is a great series. The playthrough is good. Bridget hair is good. So, you know, everything is good, man. So, hope you guys enjoying it. Um, and if you like it, go back to the first video. Check it out. You know, give it a like. And uh, follow those instructions. You get a chance to win yourself a free copy of the game. But otherwise... And you got to watch the video to know what you should put in the comments. Exactly. But other than that, I am out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. And your girl, Bray Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Salon, BK the People's Champ Pet. Hello! 360 out this motherfucker.